Erd had just discovered what was in Antarctica. Now, you got to remember some when airplanes was invented, they wasn't just allowing any nilly willy motherfucker to go fly around this motherfucking do shit. They wasn't just allowing that. They was just allowing it in within the country just to see how far airplanes go to study of airplanes. They had to study how far certain amount of gas for the airplane to last. All of this shit. This is new knowledge when airplanes first came about and started kicking up. So they had to they had to they had to test everything out. They had to learn about the world. They had to send people out on airplanes to 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 find shit out and bring it back. So and and come and tell tell the government about it. So when when Admiral Byrd went down to Antarctica and came back and told the government what he said, ironically, Amelia Earnhardt it sparked her interest to do what circumnavigate the globe. What I think happened since Amelia Earnhardt is she realized at one point or another that the world we live in was surrounded by ice. She realized that. Now, what they did was they, I believe they actually told this woman to, um, to um, explore Antarctica to figure out what she, what to figure out if we were actually inside of ice or was there a way around the ice or was there any type of flight patterns to get past the antarctic ice wall and i believe what they did was they sent her out there and they never had intentions of her coming back they never intended on her coming back and when when they realized she didn't come back they realized they was in some deep shit they realized that they were right they realized that hey if Admiral Byrd is right, we're going to send somebody else out there so that so that we're not so that we know he's not lying. We're going to send somebody else out there and see what they say and see if they can come back, see if they can come back, see if they can see if they can do all of this. Now, Amelia Earnhardt was not in the military. She was not an admiral. She didn't have the 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 government funding, the backing that the, that Admiral Byrd had. He, she didn't have the notoriety. What she was, she was a charmer. She was charismatic. She, the world loved her because she was a female at this time. Females was basically housewives. Females didn't do things like this. So for her to be a woman in the airplane that made all the women in the world feel empowered, especially in America that made all women feel like, Hey, yeah, we got somebody, a woman really doing things in the world. Now you can't tell me a woman can't do a man's job. Now women sacri- circumnavigate the world now. So she had this kind of this kind of uh uh fame if you would say she had this famous this famous pos this, this posture in a society so when that girl disappeared when that girl disappeared you know she didn't she didn't uh they didn't they didn't they didn't want to tell nobody that she went to antarctica and didn't come back they didn't want to tell people that she went out she she would try to circumnavigate the world a third time and and her plane crashed and shit. They didn't want to have to deal with the backlash on it. They didn't want to have to deal with the flat from from a failed experiment. They didn't want to have to deal with that. At that time, we had to worry about uh, uh, you know, Russians and all these our, our enemies and shit talking shit about the United States and how they were much more smarter than us and how they was trying to land on the moon and shit before us. All this shit was going on. So it was intellectual wars. It was who can know more about the world before the next. So when they figured out that this this woman wasn't coming back, they had to come up with some. Oh, she just disappeared. To this day, they don't know what the fuck happened to her. They only got theories. Oh, she may have crashed next to this island. We think that this these bones that we found here at this time must be Amelia Earnhardt's. I'm telling you now what I think. They ain't even found this girl airplane. I think that woman flew through Antarctica, and either she didn't she either her spaceship. Oh, I mean, not spaceship. Her airplane ran out of gas and she, you know, she died in Antarctica or, you know, the woman got outside the ice wall and she couldn't come back. You know, airplanes, when you in this time. It would have to be during that time period that somebody in the airplane would know the truth and it would and it would and it would actually become fatal for someone. It would have to be around that time because that was a time where when they had just figured out about the ice wall and they were trying to figure out what the fuck it meant. 
So they had to send people out there to obtain knowledge about this shit. So an airplane was the only way to do it because they knew about the ice wall. So they knew a boat wasn't going to do it. You need an airplane. You needed an airplane. So Amelia Earhart didn't disappear circumnavigating the world in the middle of the ocean. She disappeared in Antarctica. She's somewhere frozen solid. That girl died trying to, to discover something for our government. That's why they sent her out there three times, not just one. Shit, one would have been enough to circumnavigate the world as a woman, but they let her do it three times. And this is after Admiral Byrd discovered the ice wall. So that's just what I want to point out. A lot of things in history is, you know, it is it, told to you in fractions and it's told to you in fractions on purpose because they don't want you to correlate certain events in history. But certain events correlate more than others, you know, so. When I when I thought about that, I'm I'm thinking to myself like I remember when they told me about this chick and she disappeared in an airplane trying to circumnavigate the world. So I'm like, okay, she disappeared. Now I know where the hell she went. I know where she at. She in Antarctica. That's where the hell she went. She flew her ass past that ice wall. And the thing about it is, you got to be mindful. Amelia Earhart if, didn't know and, nothing and, about. And if you look, she at didn't know picture, nothing about the flat the Earth cosmology, wall. bro. She didn't know about the flat earth yeah. cosmology. So she yeah. thought she was going to fly Nothing past the ice. She thought she was going to fly past Antarctica and she was going to fly clean across the country and end up back at, back in the real world where, where everybody else at. She thought she was going to fly past Antarctica and she was going to see some more world water. Well, that ain't what happened. They didn't give her enough fuel to come back. Either that or she 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 realized that the ice wall was way, way, way distant than she thought it was. And when she got there, she realized her plane been flying over ice too damn long and she ran out of fuel and she can't get back. And she turned the airplane around and tried to get back and she couldn't. That's what happened to her, bro. Now, you got to think about this. Communications and all of that shit don't work out there. And Antarctica, if you go too far, don't work out there. The Antarctica Treaty was passed after. I guarantee you, if you do your research, the Antarctica Treaty was passed after that that Amelia Earhart shit. I guarantee you it was. I guarantee you it was either after or around that same time period. And how I, I know that I is know because, I know it was passed the same year NASA was founded. How about that for your information? The yep. same year NASA was founded. <laughs> Ain't that something? The Antarctica Treaty was around. That mean that mean if, if I don't give a damn mean, what country you mean, from, bro, that you mean, can't do no trade with no country and unless that, you sign that Antarctica Treaty. That's that's you know what? that's since the fifties. Like I'm just saying, like he's speaking some real knowledge. Y'all better listen. Yeah, like because because I really do believe that me and Earnhardt situation is what sparked that Antarctica Treaty. I really do. I believe when they realized that woman did that, she see, see, they could probably track an airplane. They can see where an airplane going from the United States with their radar detection and shit. But they realized she wasn't coming back. And when they realized that, they realized some 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 things had to be blocked off. You know, that's why they have no fly zones. Some things had to be blocked off. So when they realized that girl wasn't coming back and they realized where she went, they were like, oh, shit. It's something out there. Oh, shit. We need to set up a fence out here. We need to set up a perimeter. We need to do some investigating. We need to do some research. We need to figure out where she went. We need to figure out why she couldn't come back. Because basically, her not coming back basically um, validated everything Admiral Byrd said. It validated everything the man said. And that's exactly what they wanted to, they wanted, they wanted to find out. And when they found that shit out, that's birth to NASA, birth to all of this shit. Now, let's talk about rockets. What if rockets are actually not going straight up? What if they are actually what if they're actually uh, traje trajecting these rockets to shoot up high enough and shoot over left or right to get past the ice wall? It would need to be a rocket to shoot your ass past that ice wall to go fast and far enough. You see what I'm saying? Now, we all know these rockets can land. These rockets can land. So if you got a landing mechanism on a rocket, you can shoot that motherfucker from off the face of the country and shoot and, and, and fly across an ice wall and land that bitch somewhere. 
So NASA ain't shooting rockets straight up over your head. They shooting rockets up high enough so that they so that when they turn that motherfucker left or right, it's gonna be like it's gonna be like throwing throwing a rocket across the ice wall. If you get what I'm saying. It's like throwing that rocket across the ice wall. Like some of these rockets, they some of these rockets that 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 they show us. Hell yeah, bro! You you breaking it down good, bro. You breaking it down good. Let them know, bro. Some of these rockets that they show us on TV and shit, bro. They are basically they are basically uh dummy rockets because as long as they got you thinking that they shooting shit up and out of space. They know you're not gonna pay no mind to when that rocket turn left or right. You ain't gonna pay no mind to that. You they 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 got you already locked in on on on. on. They got you convinced on believing. Oh, you know we going straight out of space. Every rocket's going straight out of space. That's what they want you to believe. You know, so we gotta look at deception on both ends. What is possible? What is possible for these people? What are they lying for? What could be their reason to lie? You know, so so that's what I be doing when I be looking at all of this shit, man. Like that SpaceX rock launch. When I looked at that shit on TV, I'm looking at I, I'm I'm more concerned with Elon Musk position. I'm more concerned of who the fuck he is. I'm more concerned. Of, see, this this dude is from South Africa and he's a white person from South Africa. Who the fuck is he? How the fuck did he make so much money? I did my research on him. The man, the, the man basically built the damn video game or some shit when he was a young boy. At like 12 years old, he created a video game. Now that that tells the whole entire world your intelligence. When you are 12 years old and you can actually build and make a real video game. That tells the world your intelligence. Now, when you got an intelligence like that, you got attention of all world leaders. Somebody of some some kind of fold is going to want to try to um, uh, recruit you to do their agenda somehow, some way. You know, I'm looking at this. shit. I'm like, bro, I know it ain't real. Like, I ain't even got to like 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 when it came on news and shit. I'm like, bro, I'm not I don't believe none of this shit, you know, but it's sad when I see people watching their TVs and they looking at this shit, not asking questions. That shit is scary as fuck to me, bro. Because they let you know the generational gap and the generational curses that's out here. Because there are really curses and spells. And, and everybody should ask here. questions. You, you you should not accept for what you just see. Like you gotta actually like this is space. This is not just something around the corner. You know, like for real, yeah. y'all y'all can't believe everything you see. <laughs> yeah, I mean, bro. And, like, and they bro. tell you that about movies. So you wouldn't believe that about NASA and other companies that's trying to go out in space and improve bruh, space. And I'm and telling all. you like this, and, bro. And let like, me tell you one thing. They said, right? I'm gonna tell you this thing about I, I call it invisible water. I don't know. That's 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 what I, that's what the fuck I'm gonna call it. Fucking invisible water, right? They yep. say the astronauts they get on the space station and they check gauges to make sure water is full. So if you're checking to see if water is full, that means water is being collected in space somehow, some way or form through that space station. So I say invisible water because I say space, yes, this dark place is like bro Sanchez say it's not, it's, 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 it's complete darkness, right? And you know the stars right. give it it's all that all that stuff. So well, these are my this is my thought on nut. Hold on, hold on, hold yeah, on. Let me let, let, let me let me let me get to it. But you out in space, and you're saying you got these fucking you got these fucking things to check water gauges. How are you checking water gauges in space when you have no way to get water in space? So that tells you they're they're producing water in space. But there is no space. But they're showing astronauts with air bubbles and shit, and it, it's it's fucking crazy. You're right, bro. You are so right, man. But you know, with knowledge, they was able to they was able to sneak us all with with hidden knowledge. It, it, and at some point, man, like look at look at the shit they put out here about NASA, man, on the on the movies and shit, bro. How they got the women helping them with math problems and shit, like. These the same motherfuckers that's shooting shit out in outer space. How the hell are they that much smarter than us? 
They ain't that damn much smarter than us. You know what I'm saying? They like all these scientists want you to believe that they are so much smarter than everybody else outside of NASA's walls. They know everything. And, and look at CERN, Switzerland. These motherfuckers think they so damn smarter than much everybody. These people are basically going to find themselves in a, in a predicament where they have fucked up. Like uh, uh, CERN, Switzerland, there was an article that came out about them where they said that they, they built that article, uh, Adam, Pers what is it? Particle accelerator or some shit. And they said something came back from the other side. So it's like, damn, y'all just playing with fire. Y'all motherfucking so curious. Y'all going to fuck us all up. Like y'all just fucking shit up. You know, so we got to really be mindful of who we supporting. When we talk about NASA, $50 million a day, that's a, that's a very big fucking deal. A very big fucking deal. When every American in, 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 the, in the country is worried about health care and we sh and y'all motherfuckers taking money from us to do some dumb shit. Why the fuck y'all ain't taking $50 million a day to treat our goddamn water supplies, make sure our kids good in school, teach them the right shit, build our fucking country up, have our goddamn vegetables right, have our motherfucking animals safe, we ain't eating meat as a whole on a country scale and all of that shit. Why the fuck y'all can't do that with $50 million a day? And like That's I said, that goes back to the influence. Look who we got as president. And, and like I said, I'm not... <coughs> <coughs> Bro, I don't, I don't even, I don't even, I don't even subscribe. I don't even subscribe to the, to the normal way of thinking about politics no more, bro. Like on some real shit, bro. I don't even think the president got any fucking say so of nothing. I don't, I don't even think Trump He's right just now, a motherfucking he, puppet, but people bro, are influenced by that puppet. Yeah. Yeah, bro. And you know what? Just you like what? this dude right here. If, nah, he, tell, see, if he tells you, if he tells you that. Elon Musk and, and all of them is going to go to Mars and they're going to gonna have 100 million people in five years. You'll believe him because he's a scientist and everybody watch him. Man, all factuality, you know, in facts, ain't no way in hell that should have happened. It, it's crazy, but they exactly. brainwash you to believe dumb shit. Yep. And, you know, a lot of people, you know, when they hear people like us talk, they, they, they cringe at that word brainwash. And the reason why is because they hear it so often. They think that it's just a cliche. They think that it can't happen to them, but it has already been happening. Like, like bro Sanchez said, bro, he said, he said the whole world waiting on a new world order. They ain't even woke up and realized that they already living in it. You see what I'm saying? They ain't even woke up and realized that we are in the new world order. And that's order. true. And, and, and if you don't know out there in uh, Montenegro, Colombia, they just opened up a satanic church of Lucifer. How wild is that? But, like, this shit is real. Like, they've been doing that in Texas forever. You know, them rednecks out there don't play. And I hate to say rednecks because I'm not trying to discriminate nobody, but Y'all even consider yourselves that, so so it shouldn't even be no discrimination or no way taken. But yep. like I, but you know, I was saying, yep. that, that 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 that's how it is, and like they doing all this crazy kind of stuff going on in the world, and it, and it's just letting you know. But but when you say the end of days, is it really the end of the days, or is it like a new beginning? It's, it's, it, a new it's, beginning. it's something a new beginning. That, that, that can't be explained because it hasn't it's happened the, yet. It's the end of their it's the end of their brainwashing. The, see, see the people just like Brother Sanchez said, bro, in one of his bills, man. He said, he said, there's only a certain amount of time that they have to put the human race to sleep and gain as many allies as they can to prepare themselves to go to war in in the in the revolt the revolution that takes place after the human race realize it's been deceived so these people that's been deceiving these these everybody now now what i mean by that is you got to look at the people that's at the top that started this deception seven thousand years ago when they started this shit they realized it was going to last a certain amount of time because of their secret societies they kept their secret societies going with an iron fist they knew it was going to last long enough now they knew that at some point, as technology advances, the human is going to also advance. 
So with technology advance, it's not it's not it's not a coincidence that the flat earth movement is getting strength right now as technology is at its at its highest peak right now. It's not by coincidence. With marijuana consumption and uh technology, they knew they knew that the human race was going to wake up from the deception. They knew it. Which is why they which is why they made marijuana illegal when they did it. They made marijuana illegal to buy them some more time because one thing you can't do, you can't pull a fast one on 10 high people. Let let you walk in a room with 10 high people. Let me, let me, let me, let me just give you a, let me just give you a scenario real quick. You walk in a room with 10 stoned individuals, right? These stoned individuals, they are not sleep. They're just stoned. Now it's 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 all kind of shit around in this house that they at. You try to stay take something out that damn house with ten high people, and they not they they're not looking at while they're not looking at their cell phones, while they're not while their attention is not on something else. You try to pull a fast one on somebody that is under the influence of marijuana, and their focus is on you. You will have a better chance at trying to squeeze your ass through a motherfucking through through the eye of a needle, because I'm telling you right now, marijuana heightens your awareness and and your uh, sensibilities. So so with technology and knowledge flooding the gates of the Internet like it is now and people are becoming more curious and they're using their minds more and they're indulging in marijuana. Marijuana is the gateway to reality awareness is not the gateway to other drugs It's the gateway to awareness It's the gateway to to you understanding your reality you are you realizing things that you don't realize before you noticing things that you don't notice before you know which is why in 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 ancient days they used to call you a shaman or they used to call you a witch doctor when you used to indulge in practices with herbs they used to call you these things spiritual spiritual uh spiritual figures you use they used to they used to call you a spiritual figure or whatever and all of these people used to indulge in marijuana because they realized that it was doing something good for them it was helping them through their everyday life it was it was it was making got, them more aware yeah if if the f is flat why do you need a higher ground to see further because the earth is not exactly a straight flat surface. The earth has valleys, the earth has hills and mountains. The earth is a is a is a terrain. When if, you look at the if, Grand even Canyon. Sailors, wait, even if sailors are on the sea, okay, and they want to see further, they still need to climb up. Why? Huh? Say the that one more time. Have the sea, even sailors, when they're on the sea. And they want to see further they still have to climb up i mean they have to climb one of their whatever that they have uh the you know that thing i don't know how they call it they still have to climb up to see further why what do you mean they have to if climb up to sea. see further I'm, I'm i'm trying to understand what you what, what, you're what saying. i'm trying to say is if they are on the sea okay with their boat you know they both had this uh the wind thing they have to climb yes. up yeah they have to climb up. They don't just stand on a deck to see. Oh, about the cell. I get what you're saying. What you trying to say is like, I guess, trying to say the vintage. Yeah, I know that little that little the perch at the top of the, the little earth. seal. I guess that's what he's trying to say. Yeah, he's saying while while a long time ago they had to go, they had to climb up that pole just to see in front of the boat. Yeah, you have to climb the pole. Yeah, why? You know why? Because when you're on water, what happens when you're on water during certain time periods? It fucks with your perception because of the mist. At the top of the water, you can't see directly in front of the boat. If There's you can't mist. See, yeah, is, is, well, listen, it's the same way. It's the same way it can mess you up when you're up there. It, it, it doesn't have, to, you don't have to go up there for, for that thing to happen. If you're on a deck, it's the same thing. The mist and whatever is still going to fuck up your, your vision or whatever you're talking about. If you go up there, it's the same, you're still on top of the water. You, you didn't go anywhere. So, no, no, no. What I'm saying is when you climb higher, your 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 view is no longer obstructed by the mist in in most cases now in some boats some boats the pole that you're talking about is higher than others yes but even, it's higher it's than flat, others even if, it, even if it's flat you know what I, what i take ships of objects the um if you're, if you if you if you if you're on the water like in the sea 
It's all right. it, it's supposed to be flat. It's supposed to be flat. Anywhere that you stand on the deck, you are supposed to see far end. You don't need to go up to see the other end. You bro, do we not got waves. Bro, bro, there's waves. You can't see past the wave, bro. There's millions of waves there is at still, one time. There, there, there are still there's a still um a, um sea that there's no waves that it's very calm and you still need no. a pool. No, that's the misconception. The seas of your world is oh, not God. calm. There is a there is a there is a common slogan about the seas that that that's among all sailors and all people that actually occupy I mean, themselves. On the about waters. Those waves that you're talking the about sea should, is should always crash the, the, the boat. Listen, listen, yes, if the sea is an unforgiving so partial all the time. Wave. All every time there will be crashes, like the boats are always gonna crash. You know why? Why? Because they can't see what's in front of them. When you're on a boat, how can you sit? How can you tell what's in front of your boat and under the water? You can't see it, can you? So if it's a mm -hmm. so if it's a so if it's a rock high enough to damage your boat, and you can't see it from your 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 perspective because you're on top of the boat, your boat's gonna crash. So the reason why they have that perch so high up is to avoid crashes, to avoid hitting rocks. Because you can't, you can't just, you can't just maneuver a boat across a rock. Yes, you got a certain is, amount of time. Well, you got a certain amount of time that you got to, you got to, you got to move that boat around that rock, or you gonna hit that motherfucking rock. And no matter how hard or how soft you hit that rock, it's gonna damage your boat. It's gonna damage your boat in way in more ways than one. And any damage to a boat, if you if you take a a, a tin can and you and you and you and you and you, and you uh. And you you shape it in the shape of a boat, and you bang it up against something, and you and you push it through the water. It's gonna go through the water a little different than it did before. It's not gonna have the same. It's not gonna have the same control mechanisms. It's not gonna control the same. It's gonna be fucked up. Your boat is gonna be messed up. It's not gonna move the same. So that's why boats had to avoid all crashes whatsoever. You can't you can't tap a damn rock on a boat and expect your boat to still sail perfectly. You can't. So they had to have they had to have higher up perspectives to say, "Hey, there's a rock up ahead. Move the boat left, or we're gonna crash." If, if, you're, if you're in a boat, right. if, you're, if you're if you're in a boat, and anything that is above the sea level, you should be able to see it because the earth is flat. Yes, but you're in water, sir. You're not in you land. Are, you, so yes, you are in the, you are in the water. water. You are in the water. And even if anything at all that is, I mean, a little bit. Projecting out of the water, you should be able to see it. You don't need to go up on a pool to see it. Okay, okay. So let me ask you this: When you're in a submarine and they and they pull that telescope out of your out of out of that submarine, when 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 they I can mean, see when, when they see in front you, of that boat, do you think that they can see a hundred yards, a hundred miles in front of them from that one from that one telescope? Yes or no? I'm gonna tell you they can. And I'm gonna tell you one thing. They also gotta they gotta be mindful too. Is waves. They gotta be mindful of waves, man. And that that submarine cannot cannot decrease in sea level. It cannot. It can't. It can't derive from its position because if the lower the boat, the lower the submarine go, the lower the telescope go. And if the telescope goes underwater, you just defeated the purpose. Now you the ask the, why do, you ask you ask if the, the telescope you get to see the surface of the water. If you are, if you are, so break break down your idea of, of, of the sea level and why the sea level is not curved, but they say it is. So so, so now, so now break it okay. down why you can see things from far away. But you, you, know you, you no, you see the the, the 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 first one, the one at the top. That that's that 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 explains a flat earth, right? Yep. Oh, bring it up. Yeah, I'm looking at it right now. It says it's sea level, not sea curve. Yeah, I see it. you see, so you see how you see how flat it is. Anything that I thought that is projected, even at a far end, you should be able to see it because it's flat and it's straight. Now, listen, now, sir, wait, come, listen, listen, this is perception. Wait, wait, let, 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 me, let me finish. Man. Let me finish. Let me finish. Yeah, go ahead. Now, the down one, the down one shows you a curved surface. Now you cannot see what is there because it's below you. You have to go higher to see it. That is why you need but, a pool. Why is it curved? Because why, uh, why it, you asking why is it curved? Because I'm telling you, tell you the F is round, like a globe. That's why it's curved. Bro, 
listen, 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 listen. This is why people assumed it was curved a mil of a, a, a seven thousand years ago. Whenever the fuck they came up with that dumb shit, this is why they thought that because of what you're saying. What which what, what you have to consider, man, is thought of it. it was heliocentric way of thoughts that everything exactly. revolves around the sun. That uh, again, yeah. again, it wasn't even thousands of years. It, it it was it was fucking Copernicus. Yeah, so like a hundred something years ago, bro. Like that that that's young as hell, bro. It's like, but what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is this: it's perception. You see that straight line on that picture at the top. It looked like a straight, perfect line from the distance that you're looking at it from, from the distance of that picture. Whoever took that picture, the distance away from that boat, it looks like the boat is sailing on a straight line. But the closer you get to that boat, you're gonna see waves. You're gonna see all kind of shit that you don't see right now. And that 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 and it's not gonna look as flat as it does right the fuck now. That's what I'm saying. So when you're on that boat and you're on that water, you need to be up higher than the deck of that and, boat. And, and I'm to trying to tell you, and I'm trying to tell you, going higher on the pole is not to see above the waves. It's just to see further, not the waves. Yeah, you're right. It's to see past the waves, over the waves. If you're not over the waves, deck, not really over the waves. What if there's no so you're telling you're you trying to tell me if there's no waves, they don't need the pole, right? Yes, they do. They need the pole to see where the land is. Why do you need a pole to see where the land is? Why is the earth is flat? You should see it straight ahead. No, you can't see it straight ahead. It's perception. It is perception. It's, you man. have you have a telescope. You should just stand on the deck. You should see it. Now, I'm not telling you there are no cases where you can't sail up to land and see it from your 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 your, your boat. You can see it from the boat in some cases, but in some cases other in others you have to you have to be high enough to see farther yeah. away, man. You have yeah, to Yeah, no. Be, example, be, explain this picture. Why 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 does shit look so round in this picture? But it, uh, in all reality, it's not. It's flat. Exactly. Exactly. You see it? Look look at it. Don't that shit look round like it's making a curve? Yeah, because it's a fish eyed lens. This don't know this, this don't know damn no. building. Don't know damn building. You can't take this picture on your phone. That like that that is not real. That, that this picture is not real. It, it has been exactly. manipulated. Yeah. That's his point. That's why he's showing it to you. That's why I'm showing it to you. The size of the earth, it makes it almost impossible for you to see that it's round. We are extremely tiny on a very round surface. So you don't see it, you don't see it to be round. Okay, so hold That's on. Hold on. You just said, hold on. So how do Copernicus do it? He didn't do nothing. He did it by observation. How? What, did, what was he observing? That that is why he was proved wrong by those whom I mean brought a theory to life. No, he was made wrong by the very same people that he lied to because everybody who live life they see life on a flat plane. Look at that horizon, bro. It's a straight line, no matter how high you are, no matter how high you are, and whatever you drive and fly. It's never a straight line. It is always like, a straight every, line. Everybody should. If it's a straight line, everybody should see a variety, uh, the, the horizon at the same time. What? What do you mean? I mean, if everybody should be looking at looking west and it's it, it the earth is flat, everybody should be looking west. Everybody should see the horizon. You can see the horizon left, east, west, no matter what direction you're looking at, it's all around you. No, it depends on where you are. No, it doesn't. It does it does. No matter where you are, you're gonna see a horizon, man. Now look, yeah, I'm talking you about have, at, at the same time. I'm talking about mountains. the same time. I'm not talking about different times. No matter what you see the horizon, but I'm talking about the same time. If the effort's flat, you're gonna see it. everybody's gonna see it at the same time. How are they gonna see it at the same time? We're because in different places because it's it's how do, it, it it's flat. You're you know what I think? West. I, I mean, think, everybody, I think looks, you're underestimating everybody how west. big the earth is. You're underestimating how big this you guys is. are. You guys are under, and and that's why you don't see it be wrong. If it's, I mean, it's gravitational, you know, gravitational force is keeping everything intact. Listen, listen, man, it's never been round. It's never been round. This world we live in has never 
been round. That's what I'm trying to get you to see. It has never been round. It has what, never moved. What, what? I know they see. Huh? What? Bro, look at these pictures. That Look at these pictures. Is that knowledge? Is that you or is that knowledge? What pictures? Hey, who? Hey, who got the pictures up? That's me. Uh -huh. That's me. That's me. Hey, hey, I need you to explain these pictures to him real, 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 real in depth, though, man. Because I know, I know, I know, I, I know why you brought them up. Just go ahead and show, go ahead and, and and let them know why you why you pulled them pictures up, bro. Well, well, when you look at these pictures, it breaks it down to you literally don't see no coverage at all, and these are actual real pictures and not fake pictures. Yes, with a lens. This is you underestimating how big the app is. No, no. This when you, you cannot see you, you can you cannot see you can you cannot see the curve because because it's because you know, it, this 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 is a tiny part of a round surface. So you yeah. you see it to be straight. So 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 I'm a, I'm gonna do you like bro Sanchez did the other other globalist. I'm trying to and say I'm, is and this, I'm this is a tiny part this. of a of a curve surface. So you see it to be straight. L listen though, I'm a, I'm I'm a, uh respect you when I say this, man. How you know, you know, listen, do you, you, know you know sometimes when when you're on the road, okay, you are driving on the right. road, you might be in a cab, but you don't even know. You might think you are you are, you are driving straight. That, no, that, that, when you're that, in a car, that's true, but you know you gotta turn. You gotta turn your steering wheel. No, no. you don't. No, there are some there are some things that are extremely. I mean, wide enough. You don't even need to get to even turn. That's not true. Your brain is just, an actual just, level, just like, sir. Let me let, let me let, tell let, you let, something. Let, let me hold on. Like let the, me build the, with you the, real the quick. Hold on. hold on. We're here to swap knowledge. Let me build with you, yeah, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We we sharing knowledge. We we building and, and and we're doing this positively. So, you know, just so like keep doing it. Have you ever have you ever used a a a, a, a um a leveling tool? Where they have the fluid in the middle and the bubble and all of that, and you you put the bubble in the middle, they basically let you know yeah, that you're yeah. on level level ground. Yeah, yeah. Huh? Your brain does the same thing. Your brain lets you know when you are on an elevated land, or when you're elevating, when you're de elevating, when you're when you're going down the slightest of hills. Your brain hey, if, lets you if, know that. If is is it that level you're talking about? If you have a level as huge as the United States. That will prove to you that the earth is not flat. We have I our think, levels that we use are very small, and I mean they can't prove nothing. But if you have a level as huge, as huge as the United States of America, you will know that the earth is not flat. I got one question: If the earth is not flat, how how can Kansas, how can Kansas, the entire state of Kansas, be as flat as a pancake? You see. I mean, you answered that, you answered that question yourself, proving to me that F was flat. You were saying the F has mountains. It, some parts are flat. Some parts are. I mean, we have highlands. Um. So what I actually I mean, stated before was Earth is actually an island surrounded by water, which lets you know water finds its own the level. The water is part of the Earth. <laughs> Don't say Earth is an island surrounded by water. The water and the and the highlands makes makes the Earth. The earth is actually the ground. The water is the seas that are inside. The seas, the seas and the ground makes part is all part of the earth. The earth is divided into is divided into water and land. So the <laughs> earth the earth has water, the earth has land. The earth consists of two things. That's water and land. Listen, listen when you when you got a table, when you put stuff on top of the table. <laughs> When you put cups on top of your table, does that change the fact that the table is flat? It doesn't, does it? It just means that you got some things on top of the table, which is which are mountains. Just because you uh -huh. put a dent, just because you put a dent on the top of your table, you carve, you put a carving inside of your table on the on the top of that table, that doesn't change the fact that the table is flat. You get what I'm saying? Because you have a valley or you have a groove in the top of your table doesn't mean it's not flat. When you went to school and you had that groove on the front on, on the front of your desk where your pencils go, that didn't change the fact that the desk was entirely flat, except for in that area. What I'm telling you is the earth is the same way. 
It's a flat surface with mountains and valleys on it and hills, which can confuse the people that, that are directly on top of the ground into believing that it may not be flat, but the terrain itself is flat. Just as the water is, the water is flat. The earth is flat. Water does not wrap around anything round. I don't care what nobody on YouTube say. I don't care what nobody in, in no kind of religion got to say about nothing. I know enough about water to tell you water does not bend, brother. You cannot manipulate water molecules. I to mean, bend. Did, you, did, did you dream about knowledge uh, or it was just fixed into your head? How, where did your knowledge come from? My knowledge come from experience in life, bro. I'm 28 years old. I, that's I not don't experience. Need to be, you listen, you, you listen, got it from listen, somewhere. You listen, got it from listen. somewhere. No, listen, somewhere is, listen, bro. <laughs> listen, bro. I need you. I need you to. I need you to listen, bro. Real talk. Real talk. We have to stop depending on other people for knowledge when you don't need to. I'm not saying you don't have to at all times or at any time. Don't depend on somebody else's knowledge. Depend on your own five senses. Your senses tell you when you leave your house. You are on a on a firm, solid surface that is not moving. Now, just because some fucking some some guy with a lab coat that 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 use big ass words and a lot of numbers and equations tell you that this motherfucker <laughs> is round, don't mean you need to say, well, damn, he must be smarter than me. He must be right because he got that fancy ass lab coat. And his name is Doctor Doctor Lipshit, so he might you know see? what the fuck he's talking about. Now, what you're I'm, a Christian, right? What I'm telling you is, is the same way when Jesus Christ came, his own people didn't believe he is the Son of God. But guess if when they do, did believe? But now, guess that, when that, they that, did, hold on, hold on. No, guess no, when they, they didn't did believe. believe. His, his, his own people didn't believe him. Now, yes, now, 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 guess when they did believe? Now, 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 he chose some people. He chose some people. Okay, and he well, gave them well, knowledge. Well, and those well, people we were teaching. Jesus. Wait, and those people were teaching. You can't just tell me. I mean, someone. They are people with higher knowledge, whether you like it or not. How do you know that that's actually higher knowledge? Is my point. How do you know that's actually reasoning. higher knowledge? It's there's something called reasoning. No, yeah, you're right, but you're not using reasoning. You're using your beliefs. It's not you're belief. Not using as, a, as a human, as a belief. human, you have a conscience. You, you know no, what is right or no, wrong. No, no it's you know what is right or wrong saying, it has nothing to do with belief. They, 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 this is what they thought Jesus looked like, right here. Forget, forget about what they think about what Jesus looked like. That's not the point here. Listen, sir. Listen, sir. You mentioned Jesus. Now, knowledge about to tell you something about Jesus that I'm not even going to get into right now, but I want to tell you this about Jesus. You said Jesus said he was the son of God. And nobody believed him. Jesus also told the same people he told that to that they were also the son of God and they didn't believe him. But guess what they also guess when they believed him? They believed him when Jesus turned water into wine. They believed him when he walked on water. They believed him when he healed when he the ill. They not believed all him. of them. They not all of them believed. Died, if, 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 they believe, if they believed, they wouldn't have killed him or crucified him. They still didn't believe. No, no, no. That's wrong. That's wrong. That's the wrong misconception of the Bible. I don't care if you don't believe in the Bible or not. If you do believe in the Bible, that's the wrong misconception. They killed Jesus because they realized he was telling the truth. So they wanted to know if he was going to die. They wanted to know what could happen if we killed the son of God. What would happen if we could kill the man who could walk on water? What would happen if we could kill the guy who is causing all this ruckus and all this, all this, all this uh, uh, resistance to control in our society? Like, who is this guy? Jesus was against control. Jesus was against all laws. Jesus was against all of this shit. So what happened was when they realized he was telling the truth, they said, we got to deal with this, man. How the son of God gonna come down here and act like he act like he running shit? That's what happened. That's why they wanted to kill him, and they killed him. And Jesus let himself die for whose sins? Mankind sins. He didn't look at us as individuals. He looked at us like as a whole because we are one. We are all one with the Creator. He said, "Look, I'm gonna die not because I have to. I'm dying for you guys to show you guys." 
that I am the son of God. He allowed himself to get killed just so he can show himself as the son of God by reemerging alive again. That's the whole story of God and Jesus. That's the whole concept of the Bible. See, if you really saw an alien in your lifetime and that alien told you that that alien was a direct descendant from your creative creator, you're just going to scare the shit out of you. And you might be on a self-defense and want to harm that alien, whether that alien comes and, and try to do something. If that alien comes as friendly as possible, you're going to want to kill that alien. What do you think the story of E.T. was? The story of E.T. is nothing more than the story of Jesus Christ. The story of E.T. is the story of Jesus Christ. What happened when they found that alien? They was trying to take that alien and kill that alien. If Jesus did exist, now you believe in God, I believe in God too. I believe, I believe that there is a higher power in the creator. I believe that something was here before us. I believe that there was other worlds here, other civilizations here before us. Now, I'm not going to sit and tell you that there is no, there is no human beings out here or, or, or beings for that matter that can walk on water and turn water into wine. I'm not going to tell you that, but what I am going to tell you is this, if it did happen, why are we so surprised that they murdered that person? All saviors become crucified. Why? Because the mankind wants control of his own society. They don't want to be controlled. So the opposite of control is what? This control. You have to stop, break control of whatever is controlling you. So if the Roman Empire or whoever the hell killed Jesus felt like he had more control over their people than they did, what makes you think they would not kill Jesus in front of the entire town and make a mockery out of him like they did? They did that because they realized he was not lying. They did that because they realized that this, this man was born of a virgin and he's able to do things we can't do. We can't mess with this man. This man doing some shit we don't even know how to explain. We All we can do is stab him, kill him, hope he die. Bury him, bury him in a rock and, 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 and close it up. Make sure he can't come back out. That's what they did to Jesus. And he rose from the dead and walked his ass out of there with the same scars they gave him. Preach, brother, preach. You know what I'm saying? So we can get on this Bible and this God talk. I'm with you. I'm not a, I'm, I do not, I'm not, I'm not, listen, I'm not a subscription to non-believers or people who don't believe in the he's high not power. A, he's not an atheist. Like I said, this is knowledge. We spread knowledge from, from. Yeah, bro. So oh. like, on some real talk. You know, so you can bring you can bring in the fact that Jesus mentioned he was the son of God. And nobody believed him. That's very true. But guess what? That's why he showcased his powers to to get believers, to get followers and his 12 disciples. Those are people that he chose for reasons. I guarantee you all 12 of those disciples are what? 12 Zodiac signs. All 12. Each every each every each. Each disciples represented a different zodiac sign. Each one of those disciples, man. You know, so so he all he did was he said, you know what? I'm gonna show y'all I'm the son of God. I have higher knowledge. I have I have knowledge of you guys' beginnings and ends. I knew I know everything. That's what Jesus was talking. He was like, look, y'all going down the wrong path. Y'all need to straighten up, get on the right arrow. Y'all, y'all supposed to be way more than this. Be better, be, be, be kinder to each other. We are all different, but we are all one. You see that wheel right there, that zodiac wheel? It may be 12 different di different signs, but one thing you can all we can all see is that they all make a perfect circle. They make a perfect circle. So the real the real key to civilization is accepting one another for our differences, man. That's the key to life. Accepting our differences. We are all a part I mean, of, we are all a part because of God. We got, because we got to. Because if we don't, we're just going to be disagreeing and debating all the time. And it's like, going to be the endless cycle of wars. The like, endless like, cycle like, of like wars. Not to bring this up. 
But if you don't seen that young Pharaoh shit when he was talking about the nation of Islam, like I'm gonna shit tell you got like real. This. That young shit Pharaoh, was real. Young Pharaoh is about to become a flat earther. And I'm gonna predict this right now. Young Pharaoh, like, I saw the whole like, debate. Like, did, did you see that shit where I saw the whole debate, bro? And I, uh, I'm yeah, talking about I see, after the debate, all that backlash, like that shit real. Motherfuckers yeah, not man. playing out here, but that's knowledge. And people hate to hear that got that real knowledge. Like they'll kill your ass. Yep. And on top of that, they'll kill you if you ain't doing your if you if you a part of their agenda and you switch. Oh yeah. You really in for it then. That's why I feel for young Pharaoh, man. Because one thing I one thing I do know is whoever his teacher is, whoever, whoever got him on all of that shit, whether he did it on his own or not, I'd rather him have learned all of that shit on his own. Because what's going to happen is, you know, the truth don't need help, bro. It's it's just a matter of time. It's just a matter of time before young Pharaoh do a, do a video where he, he actually is a fat earther now because he done did some research and he done found out some shit. It's only a matter of time. The only thing that's going to stop him from getting that knowledge is his, is his own ignorance and stubbornness, bro. That's the only thing that's going to get in the way of that. You know, because um, undeniable truth don't need no help, bro. All you gotta do is look into it. That's why. That's why all those flat earthers. We tell you the same thing. We gonna tell you the same the thing, bro. All you gotta do is. I'm do telling you, research. bro. If you look into it, if you look into it with an objective perspective, not this biased opinion, going off this globe knowledge shit. Just, just, just throw that shit out your motherfucking head and relearn this shit from this perspective, and everything is gonna line up perfect. And that's how you know it's true. That's how you know it's truth. You know, we did they need all of this magic talk to explain a lie. Isn't it quite odd to you that they that that you over here defending that the fact that the earth may be a globe, but the same person, the same person that 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 the same people that tell you it's a globe, now they now they got a black brother, a black brother who is not who is a paid actor, by the way. They are paying this guy to go across the country and have tours telling motherfuckers that the earth is not a globe anymore. It's a fucking oblique spear warrior. And that shit crazy. Now explain this shit. And now how the crazy. how the fuck is the earth a globe or an oblique spheroid when every compass in the motherfucking world points directly north? They tell you it's a south axis, a south pole. A North Pole? Why the hell the compass don't never point to the South Pole? Ain't that odd? That's pretty odd. Now, now I'm now I'm getting somewhere with this shit. If you really, if you really think about this shit objectively and don't try to make excuses for these people, because that's what they want y'all to do. When you when you have this knowledge and you feel confident in this globe shit, they know that your brain is capable of coming up with the excuses. The compass points to the North Pole because it was made to point to the North Pole. The compass isn't a magical object; it was made by a person. You can make a compass yourself, and you make that's it a, to point to the North Pole. Listen, that should tell you something, bro. You 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 really you really got you you, you fighting me on this shit, bro. But you, you you're not listening to yourself. You just said it's not a magical object, right? So if it's not a magical object, that means that motherfucker should point to directly towards anything magnetic. No, it was made to point to or towards the North Pole. No, it was made to point to a magnet. It was made to point to the North Pole. So you've just, have you ever just used like a how your wa- just like how have your you watch or your used, clock have is you ever made, used a compass made before? to run only sixty seconds? Have you ever used a compass before? Have you have you ever used a compass before? Hello. Yeah, I guess I, you I, I, I guess he I muted his mic, it. man. Yeah, yeah, I guess he muted his mic, man. But it's so cool. Look, break, break it down, break it down to him. He muted his mic, break it down to him because he was coming. He was coming. So uh, I'm okay. telling you, military, the compass is just the made military to point can teach the you. North Pole. If the, if the compass the compass has pointed to different, I mean a different position, it means it's malfunctioning. You said it, it, it's malfunctioning. Yep. If it's pointing to a different map. now, position. how can something look at hold map. up? Hold this up. One of the how can this map in the world? Look at that map. This 
That right there is called an azimuthal projection map, which means you're looking down on the earth. You're looking at the earth as if you're on top of the earth, looking down directly on the earth. That's what the earth looks like, sir. How did you get, now, how did you get this picture? It's the air map of the world. How did you get a picture? What do you mean? How do you get a picture? Yes. How do you get a picture of this? Uh, he went on the website and got the picture, man. I mean, I mean, what do you mean? How can you take a picture like that? Is that what you're asking me? I mean, you were, you were saying the, I mean, the, the global pictures of the F is all fake. How is this? I mean, how is this correct? How, 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 how is this real? How is that real? This is an imagination. Oh, from no, a it's person not. Like the globe you. is imagination, bro. The globe this is, is imagination. an imagination from a person like you. Listen, the globe is the imagination, man. And you have to you have to open yourself up to knowledge, man. I'm not trying to argue with you for no reason, bro. I'm just trying to teach you something, bro. Because I don't know if you got kids or not, bro. But I'm going to tell you like this, bro. And you're probably only going to hear it from me, man. Don't teach your damn kids about no globe earth. Do not. Teach them and about... do not the, teach your kids about no goddamn teach, flat earth. Teach the them earth about flat. the flat earth. The and earth I guarantee you... The flat. The yes, earth is. is not flat. I mean, those, those those who proved the earth, like, thought the earth was flat were, were proved wrong. Now, if... Where was it? The earth is How flat, are they proven wrong? Hold up. There don't will be people... If the no, earth is flat, bro, there is will wild, be people bro. who prove that bro, the earth is flat. Yeah, hold on. Paul says that shit. How were they proved wrong? This is live, bro. You can't just, just like how they were, how, Just like how they proved oh. the earth wasn't flat. You could still prove it's... I mean, it's not a globe. It's flat. You, you, can, you, prove you can't right prove now. it's a globe or flat. If you're talking about man, life, man, you can prove it. Nobody you, has anybody who is challenging the theory. That theory can seriously prove it. Nobody has. To I mean, you can't just sit in your office and give imaginations and say, "Oh, even the F is flat. Why is this? Why that? Why that?" You need to prove right, it. Now, just like let how me, you let me deal you with this. that. Let me deal with this now. It's easy. Let me, let me let me tell them something real quick. You remember when I told you? you remember when I, you remember when I gave you that scenario with the ants in the middle of the swimming pool? Uh huh. Do you remember that? Do you remember that? Uh huh. Now, explain this to me. Before either one of them ants could fly off to any one of them shoes, how the hell could they tell you the shape? How how the hell can an ant tell another ant the shape of the entire swimming pool? 